Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Yes, welcome to this edition of What a Horse. I got my co-host here, Mr. Wayne Hoyt. Glad to be here. I'm glad to have you here. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm glad to have you here. Well, we're going to go to commercial right here. We're gonna be, we'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, world grand champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000, or select amateur show pleasure world grand champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition, and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these world grand champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to What a Horse. I have Mr. Wayne Hort right here. He gonna do some announcing here for me. All right, thank you. It's walking horse season time again. The Heart of Dixie Spring, Spring Showcase, March the 8th to the 9th, 2024 at Philadelphia, Mississippi. Uh, Friday at 6 p.m., Saturday at 5 p.m., Judge Chris Helton is a judge. You can contact Donna Thompson, 601-517-5999. And then, of course, everybody's ready for the show in Chippeville, the Walking Horse Trainers Show, which is March 13th through the 16th at Chevel, Tennessee. Uh, you, you could uh, start as a judge. It starts at 6 p.m. The judge is Dean Bryant, Dean uh, Brent Grider, and Chris Zane. You can contact Melanie Bryant at 931-639-3587 or Decan Trail at 706-366-1011. And don't forget the, the horse exhibitor's card required. And what to advertise your horse in business, contact what a horse, the largest co covered of the walking horse industry to the public supporting the prompting your, our horses throughout Tennessee and North Carolina, South Carolina and Virginia. Thank you there. Yeah. Mr. Wayne, tell us a little of your history about this, this horse business here. Um, my history from uh, raised in Winchester, and there was a guy over there, Mr. Uh, Shadow, that showed a white horse in, in celebration for why I ever knew anything about it. I moved to Shedbeville after I got out of college, and well, that was back in 79, 80. Mm -hmm. and, and 
hooked up with some good friends of mine. I got to know that, Philip Wilson, Miss C.A. Bobo, G, uh, uh, Joe Martin, uh -huh. and that bunch. Yes. They're, they're good. Yeah, the, the, the foundation of yeah, the Wayboard down there. Mm -hmm. And they got me hooked on it. And, and I like the publicity. I like the crowds. I like the horse business. I don't have any horses right now. And, and the thing about the walking horse injury, I found out people that don't know a thing about walking horses. I said, i tell you what you do. You go to one horse show at the first of the season and go keep going to the horse yeah. show all season long. Uh -huh. By the time it comes to the celebration, you'll know friends. you have new friends. Oh, yeah, you know right. the, You'll know the rider. Mm -hmm. You'll know the horse. And it's, it's over with. You, you're hooked. Yeah, you're, 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 hooked. Exactly, you're exactly right <laughs> about so that. So the more you go to next year, but that's the way to go. If you go to one night show, you, that's the way I went to it. We kept knowing people, knowing people. And then like the time you get to the celebration, you're familiar with the trainer, you're familiar with a horse comes in the gate, yes. you're familiar with the rider. And it's, it's a whole good program. You're right. You're exactly around that. I see where you've been real big in the kids. On yeah. the sporting the, the kids um, thing at the horse shows and stuff like that. Well, I sponsor quite a few classes our corporation does. Um, I sponsored a class with Jerry last year at that, uh, I think, like the, the youth thing. We gave that all the youth, the one, put them in a, a, a category of their own, the jar thing. And, and uh, I, at, the, in the, at the class 26, we drew a winner out of that class, gave him $500. Not the trainer, not the show, the child. Yes. And then we had ten more hundred dollar winners to the kids that drew their name out after that. Uh -huh. Now, if you want kids to stay at a horse show. Oh yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. <laughs> and then they were all tickled to death, and to see them call their name, jump over a rail, run out there, and it's just really exciting to see the youth. Yes. And I think that's what it's all about, and that's the reason I thought, well, it's time for youth to get credit. And you get something besides just a ribbon or a yellow ribbon. I, or something. I remember that. That was a good idea. I thought, you know, a lot of kids were excited, got to seeing, you know, getting their name called right. out there and getting a little money and running around with the with the other friends and stuff. I thought and, it was a good deal. And we're probably going to do the same thing again. I don't think we have to tweak it too much. It's pretty well stable like it was. Yes. Uh, I think we just got to picture, picture the right horse show to go to, the one one night horse show probably. And whatever that falls, whatever category that falls in this season, that'll be would be great. Well, like you said before, this this industry is gonna fall back on you. Exactly. The kids. I mean, that's the biggest thing. I mean, if you don't have kids, you know, what what gonna happen? Yeah. If you take the kids out. Well, the one that won it this year, I was jury told me I couldn't remember from Murfreesboro, and he was wanting to go to Walmart, and Murphy leave. He's gonna leave. Yeah. And the East Side State. It's one happy gentleman. Yeah, I bet so. And he told his dad, and then we're, I'm going to the bank. <laughs> and uh, the Jacobs girl, uh, she came out and won $100. And I said, well, you don't have to pay the training bill for this $100. He, I'm not paying no training bill. <laughs> and so they all, it seems to me like they all put it in the bank or savings account, which has impressed me. I was, I was definitely happy with that. Well, kids are uh, happy about that. Yeah. I mean, you can see the enjoyment on their face and everything. And I know a while back, Jerry done a thing with the kids and brought the kids from the schools and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. That's some more things that I think need to come back. And if you want to see the future and the excitement, uh, bring the kids into it. Yes. They're most sincere and honest. And, you know, what Jerry did was a great thing. Cause I oh, had yeah, them over that day. And it was people busting in from other schools and stuff. Yes. And they were excited. Yeah, I, I'm gonna tell you that was a wonderful thing. That video I go back and watch it every time I watch it, oh, I just keep yeah. getting excited exactly. about watching it, looking at it, and stuff like that. I think it, I, I, I think of course that's your future. Yeah, and you're right. And you got a Leo Bale over Winchester and, and uh, Christy Bale and might be her daddy. Uh, they wouldn't raise around horses. Yes. And they started out with the lead line, which has done great. Mm -hmm. And they stepped up, step up. And now she's in the juvenile class. So she's worked her way up to where she needs to be. And that's true with a lot of young youth. That's, you're right. I, I like that lead line class. I think it kind of introduced the horse to that, to that kid and see how they like it. And most time they'll go on further with it. Mm -hmm. I was real big on, on that lead line stuff. I think it's, and a, everything. it's a good thing. And the thing about it, the lead line, it seems, it seems like a lead line, the crowd gets really involved. It, it does. It's they, a big thing. Yeah, it's a real big, it's you know, a real big thing. And I think the. 
it just seems like you, you see a lot of the classes, this class, and people are watching one different ones, their favorite, yeah. like that. But it seems like when that seem like when the lead line comes in, the donuts get dropped, the coach sit down, yeah. and we're watching horses watch and kids. Watching <laughs> horses and kids, yes, sir. Well, we're going to do an interview with Bob Roach right here. I'm here at Spencer Benedict Stables, Jacobs Farms, and I got my good buddy Bob Roach from Kentucky Walking Horse Club with me. That's right, Walking Horse Club KY, mm -hmm. and uh, you all stole Spencer Benedict for us. He's right there in Glasgow. He was 60 miles from my house, and now I gotta go all the way to Murphy Brothers. Well, it, it it's a long ways to go. We got another guy wanting in the picture. Everybody wants in the picture today. What picture? That picture right yonder. Hey, it's got a great crowd <laughs> here today, hey, Jerry. Hey, we just let them come in, walk around, see what they can do. Every, everybody's got to do it. <clears throat> but we're going to see some coats. We're going to see some stallions. Uh, it's going to be a good. A good day, I believe. That's right. Uh, what's your favorite stallion here, Jerry? Ah, I've got a lot of them. A lot of good ones coming out. You like El Zorro Star? I like El Zorro Star. You like Hopperfield? I like Hopperfield. You like Lester H. Burns? I, I like him. Right I like here. Perfect Hawk. <laughs> I'm trying to take this I, show over, I like Jerry. them all. Jerry, I'm trying to take over right now because I'm telling you right now, Spencer Benedict Stables does so much for the horse business that it's unbelievable. He's always thinking of great ideas, and this day in showcases, uh, he's just he's it, got It's a good great thing. Stadiums. It's a good thing. We're going to we're going to be showing all the stallions, every one of them. We're going to be showing videos with him, and it so everything we do, we're going to have. See, see. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we're, we're doing a video and getting pictures all at the same time. Getting hugged by women. She, we're, we're cooking, Bob. She hugged me. She didn't even hug you. I don't need it. <laughs> I smelled the food. Uh, oh, she's back. Ooh, ooh, How are you? I don't know. We're on video. My wife might Yeah, see we're this. doing a video right now, and you're right in the middle of it. <laughs> Mr. Enzel, basketball man. Oh, man. Well, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a good day. It yeah. really is. Yes, the, I can just tell you that uh, I've been to, over there to Snapwood and been over to Brent Grider's and I've been over here to Spencer's and I can tell you that the enthusiasm in the horse business, we are ready it, to show horses. It, it's smoking and plus today, we got none other than Tony Edwards cooking the food, so we know we're going to get fed good, going to get to see some great horses, going to have a real good time. Uh, somebody asked me, I said, they said, is it going to be a big crowd? Or is it? They're giving away free food over there. <laughs> hey, it's going to be a big thing. <laughs> anytime politicians holding a meeting, he always has free food. I thought, that, I mean, I thought, pancakes or whatever, but they got Tony Edwards food here. I, I thought it was a Baptist convention. <laughs> hey, hey. It, Everybody's coming in. We got them all over the place. But I tell you what, we're about to get started. Bob, appreciate you taking time to talk with me. All right. I tell you, Bob does a good job on filming horses at the horse shows and stuff like that. He does. Great job. He does a, he does a real good job. And I think we're going to go here to some, on the showcase of some stay in here. Stallion showcase. All right. This is one of our premier studs right here. Y'all know him, world champion, El Zorro Star. Uh, Zorro ha has already sired several world champions, pleasure division, padded division. Uh, Y'all, I don't know if you remember him in the show ring. We've got our video set up up here in the corner, so we, we've got a video of all the studs that we're going to present today. Uh, so y'all can kind of check it out, you know, when they were in the ring and how they did. 106 is the number, El Zorro Star, Joe Austin out of Plainfield, Missouri. And for Virginia, El Zorro Star and Kenny Compton, your amateur champion, for 2012. Our owner amateur gentleman show pleasure winner tonight. It's El Zorro Star. Kenny Compton makes the good ride for Rick Compton of North Tazewell, Virginia. Kenny Compton and El Zorro Star. This horse right here by Jose Jose 
and out of Pusher's Evening Star, which some of you young folks won't remember, but some of us older folks remember her very well, probably one of the best marriages that ever walked around the ring. A uh, several time world champion. Uh, this horse seems to be passing all that on. Uh, Evening Star is out of a Delight Sedonis mare. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys, that is the first one. We're we'll getting ready for the next one. Some of you guys remember him in the show ring, multi-world grand champion, I'm Copperfield. 1100 Copperfield. titles for I'm Copperfield. Kenny Compton makes the winning ride. Rick Compton is the owner from North Tazewell, Virginia, retiring all the challenge trophies and claiming the 2013 and 2014 titles. I'm Copperfield. They have the approval of all five judges. Now give them yours as they leave the ring tonight. Kenny Compton makes the winning ride for Rick Compton of North Tazewell, Virginia. Kenny Compton and I'm Copperfield. How about sending them out with a big round of applause? Absolutely beautiful animal. Great show ring record. We got some folks we're going to ride at by Copperfield here. He's had some in the ring already that are doing very well. This is one of our pride and joys right here. We love every one of them, but uh, this one right here, he'll, he'll entertain you just standing there. Copperfield, he's by World Grand Champion, Jen's Man of Magic, and out of a uh, pusher's prescription mare that's out of a generator mare. So here comes our first riding colt there today. This is a filly by World Champion Omaha. She's out of an ample cash mare that's out of a dark spirit mare. We've got World Grand Champion trainer R.M. Kelly presenting her today. This is our first group of Omaha's, and, and I can't tell you how excited we are about what they're looking like, how they're starting. Uh, we've got several, several different trainers. Everybody seems to be liking them. And, all right, guys, we got the next one <clears throat> coming in the far end down here. This is a three-year-old stallion by World Grand Champion Master of Jazz out of a Jose Jose mare that's out of the World Champion Pushers Early Dawn. This will be the third coach. I guess we started out of this mare, the first or out of this coach mama. Brandon Gibbons riding. Brandon's been with us now about a year, and we're sure proud to have him and his family up here with us. He's doing a great job for us. Once again, this is a three-year-old stud by Master of Jazz out of a Jose Jose mare. Belongs to Mr. Charles Legan. All y'all know Mr. Charles Legan. He always raises some good coats. We're fortunate enough to get started some of them. We're pretty excited about this coat right here, y'all. You watch him right there, you'll understand why. All right, guys. Just another three-year-old stallion by I Am Jose out of a Walk Time Charlie mare that's out of a Jen's Armed and Dangerous mare. Three-year-old stud. This is another one that hadn't been shown yet, but now we're, we feel like we're getting pretty close and we're getting pretty excited about showing this stuff here. For show season, y'all know, starts in two weeks, so we're all going to get pumped up and get ready to go. This coat belongs to Mr. Tommy Jowers. Mr. Tommy's been in this business for a long time and always has some good horses. We're glad he lets us ride some of them. This is a horse that we've had. Uh, just his first colts are just starting to start this year. This horse is named Geronimo. Geronimo's by Jose Jose out of a strictly speaking mare that's out of a pushover mare. This colt started his show ring career pretty strong, and, and Miss Janice Foster showed him. Across the board, Blue Ribbon selection of the judging panel that's Geronimo. Janice Fostick making the triple blue ribbon ride. She's from Roanoke, Virginia. Give her a spring jubilee round of applause. Geronimo and Janice Fostick.
fantastic. Let's take a look and give Dennis a nice round of applause. It's your name to show ring of Blue Ribbon winner at Wood Mary 2019 81st Angel Show in the class for the amateur riders on the three year old horses. We were fortunate enough to, to get him to stand at stud, and I tell you, we're, we're pretty excited about about what Geronimo was putting on the ground. Uh, don't have many yet, but now we're we're working on them. And, and Todd Flavor rode a good filly in here last night by Geronimo, and uh, there's not very many started yet, but now they look pretty good at this stage. All right, here comes another one, Mr. R.M. Kelly. This is a three-year-old stallion. I am Jose, out of a line with Cashmere. Belongs to Howard and Brian Eastridge. Pretty excited about this coat right here. He had been in the ring. We showed him one time, so we're excited about it. We got several three-year-old studs. We're going to get jammed up. RMB showing a bunch. I reckon him and Brandon. It's a good horse right here. He's got a lot of walk, a lot of natural talent. We're excited about this horse right here by Am Jose, out of a line with Cash Mare that's out of a jazz man mare. So bloodlines are strong. Talents there, so we're anxious to get started. Mr. Brandon Gibbons here on a two-year-old. This is a two-year-old by World Champion Omaha out of a Coach Mare. Coach Mare is out of a Ted Williams Mare. This coat belongs to Beth Alaga, Bowling Green. We're pretty dang excited about this coat right here, too. He, as you can tell, he's pretty good size. He's got a lot of talent. Beth raised this coat. She's raised several good ones out of this same mare, so we're hoping this one follows suit. And once again, we're pretty excited about the Omaha babies. This is his first crop. He's been looking around here at all these folks. Good time for him to get used to it. This horse's name is Sheriff. Good, Brandon. Thank you. World champion trainer, Mr. Johnny Puckett. We're proud to have him over here. What you got, Johnny? He's a three-year-old stud by Walk Time Charlie. Yes, sir. He's a full brother of BB Charlie Walker. I tell you what, let Johnny talk. And he jamming in Memphis. Three -year -old jamming stud. in Memphis. Three-year-old stud by Walk Time Charlie. This is a good horse right here, guys. We're familiar with him there a little bit. We watched Johnny break him and train him and ride him. It's a good horse. We, we, Really, really proud he brought him over here. Three-year-old stud by Walk Time Charlie. Look here, y'all. You'll be ready to go to the horse show whenever they get started. Good horse right there, y'all. You'll see him in the ring. Get some excitement created and get ready to have a good year. Like I said, three-year-old stud by Walk Time Charlie. This horse is ready to go. Yeah, boy. Jamming in Memphis. Three-year-old stud by Walk Time Charlie. This is a good horse right here, guys. Yeah, boy. This colt is by World Grand Champion Sky Command. Out of a line with Cash Mare. And uh, we, uh, we like this colt down there. We saw him work several times. And... We were fortunate enough to, to bring him home, bring him home with us. This will be one that you can uh, R him a show a little bit, and Howard a show a lot. I'd say that's what we're looking forward to, and uh, we're we're pretty pumped up about this coat. Like I say, we just had him here this week. Uh, he came from Mr. Brent Grider, and uh, of course Grider and him always do a great job presenting their stuff. And they always have some good stuff, so we're excited about having this coat here. His name is Sam Steele. Hopefully y'all be hearing about him. This is a I Am stud. It's a two-year-old stud by I Am. Jose, I have a titleless mare. Of course y'all know Jackson Latham. He's been doing this, doing a great job. Jackson responsible for starting multi-world champion Kobe. And uh, he's had several good coats since then, does a good job. We're, we're glad. We're glad we moved in beside Jackson. 
This is world grand champion, Jose, it ain't so. Y'all remember Jose, it ain't so. He's still in the ring, but uh, he uh, he won the three-year-old world grand championship. And I'm I'm sure not knocking I am Jose, because I'm an I am Jose fan, but this is the only horse that ever beat him. We're pretty proud of that. Now here comes our champion down the west side. Let's give him a champion's applause. Jose, it ain't so. That's Jonathan Watts riding the entry on by Deborah Williams of Argyle, Texas. Now is the three-year-old world grand champion, Tennessee Walking Horse, 2012. It's a good horse. We still show him. Jake shows him. Been real successful in the ring. Still learning. Great coat right here. I think they just purchased this coat recently, and, and this coat looks like he's going to be really successful in the ring. I mean, he's got a lot of talent. We like this coat a whole lot. This is a two year old coat, belongs to Howard Bryan Eastridge. His name is I Am Worthy. He's by I Am Jose out of a Master Jazz mare that's out of Hysteria mare. This coat's out of the same mare of the four-year-old that we showed named My Addiction. Howard's been successful on, RN's been successful on. Really, really proud of this coat. Be a coin toss who showed this one. I don't know who let them figure that out. But now we're pretty pumped up about this coat right here. I'll say that about all of them, but I'm pumped up about all of them. I love these young horses. This is a three-year-old gelding by Walt Time Charlie. Out of a Ted Williams mare and a Ted Williams mare out of a Jubilee Star mare. There's a little older bloodline in there. This coat we've had about uh, 90 days, a little longer than 90 days. Uh, came in here, to be honest with you, came in here on a flat shoe. And, and we started riding him. And, and uh, we're pretty excited about this three-year-old gelding by Walt Time Charlie. Real flash is going. He belongs to Miss Leanne Osborne from Florida. She's been riding him a little bit. I don't know if we're going to talk her into showing him or not. We're trying to. She shows a lot of, has a lot of good flat shot horses with Keegan Meadows. And, and uh, she's got this one right here. And she's excited about him. We're excited about him too. Thank you, Brendan. Well, we're going to, we got some good show on horses that we were watching right there. I'm going to let Mr. Wayne take us to commercial. Yeah, we're going to take a break and then uh, have a commercial break and then come back and talk some more about walking horses. That'll work. <laughs> During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee Walking Horse champion. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. 
If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Thank you for joining us back at this edition of Water Horse. We got some more videos and stay-ins that we're going to showcase on here, so we're going to take a look at it. Here we got another Dodgewood Farm. It's a three-year-old gelding by Lester H. Burns. Out of a catch of old water. Yes, sir. World champion trainer, not over here. Yes, sir. Dang good right here. We're proud to have Lester H. Burns standing here on the SBS team. And, and that horse has had a lot. He's already had some world champions, sired some world champions, and hopefully plenty more to come. There's been several good Lesters started this year. We sold a good Lester H. Burns filly last night. But we're proud to have Lester here with us. And, and like I say, the, the Lester Burns folks are coming pretty strong. Just a two year old stud. Belongs to Howard Bryan Easter by Jose Jose out of the honors mare named Oh So Honored. We showed that mare, Howard showed that mare, really successful in the ring. We're really excited about this coach also. He's out of honors mare that's out of a rich mare. Howard Bryan, they raised this coat here. And uh, this is one where, I can tell you, I'm pretty excited about all of them. This coat here. We'll walk the right gate. We're pretty pumped up about him. All right, guys. I told y'all a minute ago, the Colts at uh, Renardo Road by Lester H. Burns. Here he is, world grand champion, Lester H. Burns. So in the so state, state of Kentucky, Kentucky Lester, Lester H. Burns, Burns is many things, things, but in Shelbyville, Tennessee, Lester H. Burns is a world grand champion. And that's Ryan Blackford, who makes his very first World Grand Championship ride tonight. Martin Cox is the owner from Corbin, Kentucky. Lester H. Burns and Ryan Blackford. Ladies and gentlemen, make this a memorable victory pass for them tonight. Let them hear from you as they leave the ring. Sired by Ted Williams out of a pusher mare that's out of a generator mare. And that's out of an Ebony Threat mare. So, like I say, you breeders that, that really stick on them bloodlines and, and uh, those folks that can remember all those, you know, all those generations back, he's got a lot, he's got a strong bottom side, strong top side, and of course he's had it. Y'all seen him in the ring. If you're not, just look up here at the video on the corner. There'll be some videos of him with Ryan showing him, Martin showing him. Absolutely beautiful horse, already proven, his coach proven in the ring and they're getting better every year. Absolutely beautiful horse. We love fooling with him. It's a two-year-old stud by walking all over out of a honors mare. Good coat right here, you know. You'll be ready to show early. Looks like I don't put any pressure on Robbie by any means. He's uh this coat right here be ready to go. This is one where, this is a, a, a newbie, if you will. We're excited about having him. Y'all know this one. He showed recently. 
several times. This will be multi-world champion, world grand champion, Marty McFly. The horse Miss Janice Fossey showed. I don't have to talk about him a whole lot for you guys. You watch him in the ring, you see him. Ten-time world champion, five-time world champion, and five-time world grand champion. Casey Wright rides under the spotlight here on Friday night for owner Joe Fostek of Roanoke, Virginia. The final ride here on Friday night belongs to our four-year-old world grand champion. And for 2016, that title belongs to Marty McFly. Casey Wright makes the championship ride tonight aboard the entry owned by Joe Fostek of Roanoke, Virginia. Casey Wright and Marty McFly uh, in championship four to close out on Friday night with a four-year-old title. Here and I raised this horse. He is out of uh, He's by Jose, Jose. He's out of world champion Mary Silver on the line. She's also produced world champion drop a line. And the bottom side is just stacked. We've had several, several coats out of that mare that have done very well. Uh, really, really, really excited about having him in the lineup. Dog puppy right? by Jose, 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 Jose out of world champion limestone loose. Y'all remember that mare, she's very successful in the ring. And you know as well as I do, it takes them good mamas to have them good coats. And this one right, look here. Look at this one right here. If y'all want one, this one right here is close to being ready to show too. Dalton's doing a great job. Dalton John, he always do a good job. Yeah, boy. Uh, guys, this is a coat by honors out of a Jose Jose Mary. The Jose Jose Mary is a full sister to the Jose Havana Knights Mary Howard or Gildan of Howard Bryan's at RM won the three-year-old Gildan class this year at the celebration. So a lot of good bloodlines here. We're super excited about this coat. We try to keep Georgia's excitement contained there a little bit. We have trouble there sometimes. He's excited, we're excited. Once again, this coat by honors out of a full sister to Jose Havana Knights. All right, this is a three-year-old stud by Lester H. Burner. Trained by Jackson Latham Stable, our good neighbor. Thomas McCormick riding. We're glad to have Thomas back here in Middle Tennessee with us. Three-year-old stud by Lester H. Byrne. Thank you, Thomas. By I'm Copperfield, out of a Jose Jose mare that's out of a prime design mare. We raised this coat, really proud of it. Was having that prime design bloodline in there. I get all to work about that. Two-year-old spring coat. He's a spring. Everybody will think he's a fall, but he's a spring colt. Sure is. He's had the same mare as reserve world champion Hawkins that uh, Lynn Griffin, Kevin Fortney Luttrell's got. We raised that horse. This colt is, like I say, two-year-old spring colt by I'm Copperfield out of a Jose Jose mare. Y'all probably get tired of hearing me talk about this one, too, because now we're pretty pumped up about this colt here. Spring two-year-old, big stout, great attitude, getting close to being ready to go to the horse show. Hopefully you'll hear about him in the ring. He's by Jose. Yeah, boy. Yeah, Jose, Jose coat. Another really good coat out of Cottonwood Farms. Now well, look at this one right here now. This is a real good coat.
This one right here don't need a whole lot of introduction. This is world grand champion, Mr. True Blue. this horse right here. He's got a filly right here that, that I'm gonna really brag about too. She's by world champion Omaha. She is out of a whole nine yards mare who her name was Soul Sister. Uh, you guys that, that may remember Soul Sister won the world championship juvenile class. Robert figured this would be a good place to bring her out, start her out, let you guys look at her. He's excited about her. Excited about getting her in the ring. Absolutely beautiful filly. This filly is, this filly is like I say, by Omaha. She's out of world champion silver on the line, which we just saw a minute ago is a, is a damn a Marty McFly and drop a line. So we're pumped up about this filly right here. Really excited about her, to be honest with you. Filly got a lot of talent. Definitely got a lot of motor. We're proud of this one right here. It's three-year-old mayor, Sandra Day O'Connor. Well, by Lester H. Burns out of a Jose Jose mayor that's out of Pusher Special Design. Uh, for, for you guys that's been around a little bit, y'all remember Special Design? She's about an eight-time world champion. This mayor here is loaded with bloodlines. Absolutely love this mayor right here by world grand champion Lester H. Burns, I will tell you. Uh, we sold this filly last night. This filly right here is also by Omaha and also out of a whole nine yards mare who was a reserve world champion. We started his mo this filly's mama. Uh, she, she was a reserve world champion. We got her back in the breeding shed in the breeding barn now. And uh, hopefully she's going to pass her talent, Omaha's talent. Pass it on. Yeah, boy. Omaha Philly out of a reserve world champion, whole nine yards, man. We're pretty pumped up about this one right here. We're pumped up about all of them. All right, guys, y'all heard me talk about him all day today. Here he is, world champion Omaha. We rode several coats in, in here today. Got some more to ride. This is first group, and, and I'm over the top excited about, about the talent that they got. I want you to look here. World champion Omaha, the Jose Jose out of the line of pride there. That's out of Ebony's time around there. Uh, I, I can talk about this almost all day long. He was successful in the ring. World, one to two year old world championship. Scott Beatty makes the good ride for Joe Barnes at Pigeon Forge. Scott Beatty in Omaha with the A Division Blue Ribbon in our two year old Stallions class. Photographer Shane Shiflett captures that winning moment for Omaha and Scott Beatty. Somewhere here with his trainer, Scott Beatty. Scott's a, Scott is the man that put this horse on the map and uh, just did a tremendous job. And, and I think he thinks as much of this horse as we do. 
But now he's great natured, great minded, and he seems like he's passing that on to his Colts. And so we're super, super excited about, about what Omaha's doing already. I think this is a two-year-old stud by Lester H. Burns, which y'all saw in here a minute ago, that may be out of a Titleist mare that's out of world grand champion Cavender's mother. So we got a strong bloodline right here, and I mean got a strong coat right here too. Y'all look at this one right here, another one by world grand champion Lester H. Burns. We try to show you guys some stuff by studs that we've got standing here, and, and uh, that's, what it, that's what it's all about. World Grand Champion trainer, Ryan Blackman. I think Robbie Bradley, they team up on this one right here, and they've done a heck of a job, because this is a heck of a good coat right here. Right. This coat's Figure name is Definition of Honor. Of honor. He's by honors out of a lethal force mare, which I think, I may be wrong, I don't remember if that's an out on parole mare, uh, out on parole, I believe I'm right about that. Two-year-old stud by honors. Y'all better watch this one right here now, this coat here. Really, really good. Yeah, boy. Another one out of Puckett Stables right there. Good coat. Really, really good coat. We've been riding him for a short period of time. He's also by world champion Omaha. He's out of a pusher all colors mare. This out of a prime design mare. Y'all know how I am about that bloodline. His coat right here is mother. Uh, the I'm Elsa mare that RM shows has, has done very well, won the fun show, and, and won several blue ribbons for us out of the same mama. This coat by Omaha, out of the all colors mare. Mason doing a great job. This is a coat there, obviously he's real green, but now uh, he looks to me like he's gonna have a lot of talent. I think this is a three-year-old mare by I Am Jose that's a full sister to March Madness, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really good mare here, ready to show. She looks to me like she's going to entertain somebody in a big way. Real good mare, Jackson. All right, guys, I am going to ride this filly right here that Jackson Latham just rode through here a minute ago. The I am three-year-old mare. We really like this mare and pretty excited about her. Yeah, boy, y'all look here. Good man right here, y'all, I'm telling you. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Three-year-old mayor, but I am full sister to March Madness. All right, we've got another world champion breeding stud right here. If y'all remember, it's been a few years back. This was putting cash on the line. By line with cash, out of a putting on the rich mare, out of, this, out of a generator mare. This horse here for you guys, it's a, it's a little ways back, but now when he was in the ring, I don't know if some of you remember him or some of you don't, if not, there's a video of him up here in the corner. showing them they're going to retire them and, and enjoy it so we, we're lucky to have them here like i say we breed him a little bit you can watch him just walking around now that horse that horse got a lot of natural talent well out of another segment of the stadium showcase and we're going to go back to the commercial and we're going to let mr wayne take you to commercial here again. let's go to commercial then we'll come back and talk about horses and see you at the show
same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. More of What a Horse coming up. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I still have my good friend here, Mr. Wayne, here. We've been watching these stallions go through, so we're going to go back to some more videos. Two year old stud here by our good neighbor, Tony Palomino. He doesn't need any introduction. Y'all know how many good ones Tony started. Oh, we've done this for a long time. Yeah, boy. Really good coat right here, y'all. By Jose Jose Stud. It's out of a black gin mare. This filly right here is by World Champion Omaha, and out of a walk time Charlie mare, it's out of a Jose mare. This filly's mama is a full sister to current World Grand Champion Kong. This is a coat here by, by the Perfect Hawk. Now I think Perfect Hawk's coming in here next. And he's by Perfect Hawk out of a sweepstakes mare. Belongs to Mr. Dave Brown from up in Kentucky. I don't know if you guys remember Dave Brown. He used to train horses. Yeah, boy. Good right here, Brandon. Perfect Hawk coat out of a sweepstakes, sweepstakes mare. Good, Brandon. This is, this is the Perfect Hawk. Y'all know him. I, I, I can talk about him a whole lot. Look here. It's a unanimous World Grand Championship win for Dobie Gray and Sarah Coffee Burks. The owner and rider from Calhoun, Georgia. They wear the roses in the tricolors tonight. Perfect Hawk is by Pusher Blackhawk. And out of, he's also out of a Delight of Pride mare that's out of an Ebony mare. And this goes back out of beloved Belinda for some of you older breeders. Uh, to remember all those bloodlines and all that. A perfect Hawk. I mean, I can talk the rest of the day about the coach that's been in the ring, the success he's had in the breeding barn. Uh, just, uh, I mean, he's kin to Gray's Elegy and he's kin to Kid Callahan, Stan the Man. I mean, it, there's so much proven bloodline on his bottom side, and we, we still breed this horse a lot. He's had several world champions, world grand champions, Strike It Blue, Tomcats, Line High CC. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Here we go, the world grand champion, the Hoop. Who's about putting on the wrist out of a pusher doing time there? It's out of a flashy pride mare, team time. Who's about 20 years old? He, uh, we breed him sparingly, but we do breed him some. This horse, I don't know if you guys remember him in the ring. I think we got him on video up here in the corner also. Find the number 352 at the top of all three judges' cards tonight. That number belongs to the Who. Taylor Walters makes the blue ribbon ride for owner Kelsey Andrews of Rancho Mirage, California. Taylor Walters and the Who are amateur five and over blue ribbon winner.
Molly and Taylor, they love their horses, and when they get done showing them, they don't get rid of them, they're gonna keep them. And we're fortunate enough to get to keep them up, keep them up for them. These two studs that they had, like I say, we breed them a little bit. This horse right here is great show ring record, world grand champion, twice, I think. Reserve world grand champion two or three times. Did good with everybody that had him. Just a dang nice horse. If you like that color, this is what you're gonna get. All right, guys, this is walking all over Colt that probably rode through here earlier. Looks like he's going to Shane Porterfield, Jackson Latham Stable. We enjoy doing all this, and we're sure glad when the little transaction take place. Y'all give him a big hand. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everybody. I tell you what, that was some great video right there. I really enjoyed it watching them videos and, and going over to Spencer's and enjoying the day over there with that. It was nice seeing the horses and the crowd. Yes. And the weather wasn't the greatest. Uh, they had good food, good crowd. And the biggest thing that I saw, I liked about it, there was camaraderie, people talking about horses. They hadn't got together this together in a long time like yes. this. Mm -hmm. Trainers, owners, friends. And I really liked the camaraderie of seeing the owners talking to each other and the trainers talking to each other. And then when times comes to show, they all hit the rail yeah. and talking. I think that was great. I, you know, getting everybody excited about the horse shows that's exactly, coming up exactly. and all that stuff. So are you going to try to go to some of these shows? Yeah, we can go to all we can. Uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's, I think they're doing a great job. I think it's getting better. I think the crowd's getting more educated for shows like this. and. Uh, and this, I think it's going to be a good thing. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be a real good thing. I think people got to get, like you say, getting back excited about going to the horse shows and all that stuff. And, and you've seen the celebration grow the last five years. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, sir. You can. You have. I mean, you have to get, get a little bit bigger and everything else. But now we, um, I like Jerry doing some of the interviews with Bob Roach on there. Exactly. I mean, that was a, a good deal. I mean, he's, a, he's an old legend at this doing his water horse thing. That's what you call history. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's, I'm so glad he started this, you know, because it, it shows, this, to me, I think it just kind of shows everybody else out there in the world that's not in the horse business what's going on in this industry. I think you're exactly right. I think, I think more people, now the economy's getting a little better, you know, it's like, I think more people, even the ones that used to go, yes. will come back. Yes, you're right. And the ones that never been, uh, because this is something they can go to and bring the whole family. It's really not that expensive to go to. Yeah. The you food, the entertainment, and, and the kids walking around in a good, safe environment. I, I, I see the future of being good. It is. It is. I mean, it's a lot more expensive things your kids can get into inside of this horse right here. Exactly. And you're nowhere, and you're nowhere there. Well, I got a grandson that uh, he's only, they've been, they've been going since they were babies. And they go to Cascade and then the other ones graduate. But to see them come sit in my box and their friends come around, yes. they all meet there and talk and they walk around like that. Uh, it's a good youth thing. It, it is a that, good youth thing. It. Well, Mr. Wayne, I'm so glad to have you here and, and learn a lot of different things about you and you're yeah. on the show and supporting these horses. But I guess it's about the end of the, this segment of the water horse right here. And I, I'm glad to be here and enjoyed it. And then uh, I think things are going to get better and thank for everything that's been done. And uh, we'll see you at the horse show. Okay. Y'all have to be safe. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a 
a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.